So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in accessibility keyboard settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure you have sticky keys, filter keys and toggle keys all turned off. And now for the second step, you're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're going to expand keyboards. You now want to find your keyboard device. You're going to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. Also, if your keyboard comes with a software like my one does, then you'll go to your keyboard and then click on settings. Make sure that your firmware is up to date for your keyboard software itself. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search again and type in CMD. Then you're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're going to type in msdt.exe space dash id space keyboard diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up. Now you're going to click on next. Wait for this to load. If it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. And now for the last step, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. If it's still not fixed, then your keyboard might be broken.